Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's a pleasure to welcome today the ninth Safer Internet Day. Across the world, in 70 countries across six continents, people are raising awareness of how important it is to use the internet responsibly. On average, children in Europe start going online when they are just seven. Most will get a social networking profile, in many cases even before they are teenagers. This is great. The internet is fun and one of the best places for kids to be. You can socialize, you can play, learn, create, and a world of information, a world of opportunity is just a few clicks away. However, I know there are bad things online too. Whether it is losing control of your personal details, getting pestered by pornographic images, or being the victim of hateful online bullying. I hear stories from children, sometimes as young as 9 or 10, who are aware of what can happen online, maybe have experienced it and are upset by it. To ensure that internet is a safe and fun place for children, we have to work together. I want all generations, children, parents, grandparents, to discover the digital world together, safely. They can share their knowledge and wisdom and make all their online experiences positive ones. By combining young people's skills as digital natives and older people's rich life experience, we can help kids understand and cope with the online world. I want people to talk to each other openly about those issues. Parents to ask their children and children to ask their parents, how was your online day today? And we policymakers are working together too. We have formed a coalition of the big industry names, from Apple and Microsoft to Nokia, Vodafone, to make internet a better place for children. That coalition will come up with tools to make it easy to report harmful material, to keep kids' profiles private, and to classify content by age, among other things. Plus, we are seeking to put safer internet funding on a sounder and more sustainable footing through our proposal on the Connecting Europe facility. These ideas and more will all fit into the strategy on child protection we are preparing for this spring. Today, hundreds of events take place all over Europe. Events and innovations everywhere, from e-learning for teachers in France to a radio marathon in the UK stimulating young people's own creativity with competitions across Europe, from Portugal to the Baltic countries. And every day, not just today, commission-funded safer internet centers across Europe are working to empower and protect children. Like through awareness raising, advice helplines and hotlines to report illegal content. And all of this goes to show that making the internet safe for kids really can be for everyone. Policymakers, NGOs, parents, teachers and children. Everyone. So wherever you are, however you are taking part in Safer Internet Day, I wish you the best of luck today and in the future.